I think if Buddhism is a science of happiness, it can be put to the test with scientific methods. Um, and that, that was Buddha's real basic insight of cause and effect. So we have some, some causes and we can describe the rules by which we get these effects and, and how can Buddhism be a, a cause towards the effect of, of happiness. Most of the statements that we make in the field of Buddhism uh, would be difficult for a scientist to to examine or, or to, you know, to, to uh, conduct research on. If you say something like, uh, the practice of generating mindfulness and concentration can bring about insight, well, I, I don't know how you can falsify that statement. It's very, it's very difficult. So can you think of uh, you know, a way to make statements like that in Buddhism um, that, that, that is falsifiable and that could be subject to um, a real scientific study or examination. Somebody could always come and say, well, you didn't do it right. Whereas with science, you know, it's, you, know, you, you can make general, concrete predictions, which you then... Well, it depends on the social science, isn't it? Then it they're in the same. Buddhism is, you know, it's, it's not a scientific topic, is it? So I'm interested in... No, but that's what's interesting. The Thai seems to think it could be. So I'm interested in, in trying to see, like, I, you know, I trust Thai's intuition. We could bring science or bring a more scientific approach or reveal the scientific approach that's already present within Buddhist forms of investigation. But I just think, I think we need to be a bit more sharp about it. Thai, embodying the Buddha, is using skillful means, looking for skillful means to teach us in ways that will help us relieve suffering. So he's going to use the language of our time. So. So my sense is that that is why Thai is using science. To the extent that uh, he is successful in using science, it isn't whether or not it, it can be verified or not verified, it's whether his teachings that, that use science as ways for us to understand help us relieve suffering. That's the measure of the success.